Bubsy two. Bubsy three. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, dude. Yeah, I also uh, don't like the music. This the level is just obnoxious. Yeah, also you can't really use supersonic because it starves you of rings. Oh yeah, definitely. Like it's not so much it starves you of rings, but there's so many hazards that good luck hang good luck hanging on to the rings that you get. Yeah. Which is which is what I'm gonna try and do, because I'm actually gonna kind of inch my way through this level. That's probably your best bet. Shortest level followed probably by the longest one. That's yeah. Really funny. The thing about this level that bugs me, however, is... Ooh, yeah, nice. that's what the Sonic Boom is useful for. Um... Uh-huh. Oh, jeez! Okay, there we go. Um, one thing that bugs me about this level, though, is... Despite how, like, kind of over-the-top the music is and, like, you know, all that jazz... I wouldn't say it's over-the-top, I'd say it's, like... Very 90s though. <laughs> well, this game was made in the 90s. <laughs> in the 90s. This is the 90s. Because this game was made in the 90s. <laughs> Sorry, John Tron. <laughs> I'm just gonna continue doing that. I was thinking that. Yukino Joe. No, I was I was thinking like the the 90s joke that John Tron <laughs> made. You in, don't uh... remember this. You didn't have a childhood. You retroactively <laughs> did not exist. <laughs> yeah, but what, what was I saying just now? We had green. Uh, uh, you're saying about this level and how yeah, like, the, over the top the music is. Well, that's not just the it's not the, just the music, but the thing is, this level is the final level in Sonic 3, right? But okay, Sonic 1 we had Scrap Brain. Sonic 2 we had uh, Wing Fortress and Sky Chase. Sonic Sonic and Knuckles we have Scrap Brain. This uh, no, level we don't is have Scrap Brain, not in Sonic and Knuckles. Either. No, so, it's in it's in Sonic and Knuckles. Sky Sanctum, right? No, it's Sky Chase. No, no. It, oh no. Oh no. Wait, no. It's uh, uh what? Yeah, you're right. It's, I think it's, I think it's, uh... uh Death Egg! Death Egg. Death Egg Zone, that's and, it. And it's followed by, uh, Sky Sanctuary. Uh, Sky Sanctuary. That's it. Sky Sanctuary is actually before the, uh, Death Egg. Ah, nuts. <laughs> but no, like, walls. the thing is, all those levels, right? Yeah. This level is, um, regrettably one of, probably one of the least memorable levels in all of Sonic, I'm saying. And it's the final level of the game. Yeah. That's kind of sad. I'll give you that. It, it just... It's just, it, it just, doesn't it, feel, there's a theming problem with it. Uh-huh. It, it feels like, okay, this is like a, a launch base, but what, what, what else besides the, uh, alarms represent that? You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I okay. mean, yes, you have the death egg, like, in the background, like, you can't really see it now because it's on, like, uh, it's to the left of the plane. There it is. Yeah. It's just... It just, it's not very, what? this level's not very memorable. Yeah, it just There's feels not like much they slap to a lot it of that, mechanics together, you Exactly. Know I mean? There's not much to it that, like, really stands out, that makes you say, Oh, this wow, this level cool. was really hard, or this level was really cool, or this level was, like, you it, know, that kind of thing. It's hard enough that it's not, what's the word? It's, it's not difficult enough, like, Scrap Brain, to say, hey... Like, remember how hard this was? Yeah. And it's not as, like, spectacular Especially or, like, really... Especially with the save feature. Exactly. You'd think, you'd think with the save feature, that'd give them license to make harder levels. And this one isn't. Yeah, I mean, you have Sonic and Knuckles, which had a Death Egg Zone. Mm -hmm. And that was a spectacular level. That was fantastic. Yeah, like, they threw so many great mechanics at you. It was, like... We'll, we'll get to it when we get to it, but again, it's relevant, as you would say. But, uh, no, like, there were so many good things about it, and... It's kind of a shame that this didn't really... This level didn't really impress too much. Yeah. I, I remember getting to this, like, years after I originally had. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, after I finally get past that damn drum of doom. And I just remember thinking, oh, wow, this level's kind of... Eh. Like, oh, I got here. Great. Yeah, like, when I was... Is there another one after this? Th exactly! That's what I thought. I was like... Okay, so there's probably gonna be another level after this. We're probably gonna, like, board the Death Egg finally, and no. I mean, I can understand if it was, like, it's branching off of, you know, uh... It branches off of, uh... S no, this branches off into, uh, Sonic, uh, Sonic & Sonic Knuckles, Knuckles, right? Yeah. But, still, it's like, there's not really a lot here that really stands out. Five rings! <laughs> hey! Awesome. Good start for the next level. <laughs> or the next right act. Out. <laughs> so yeah, that's my that's my gripe with this level, unfortunately. Yeah, it's kind of it's just, unmemorable. It's just meh. 
un unmemorable overall. I Basic, would say. Basically, it's, I like, mean, it's it's difficult enough. I'd say it warrants it as a final level, barely. Um, it, a lot of the mechanics it introduces are kind of annoying, like the the the, the siren. It's more annoying than hard. Yeah, because it's my kind like, of complaint. You with you it. you pull out the siren, and then what? A an enemy comes at you that you have to. Uh, Beat, and all you have to do is jump on it, that's it. It's not like even a spiked enemy or anything like that, it's just an enemy, that's it. I mean, how about like something a little bit more of a consequence, like a swarm of enemies or something like that? Or like, I mean, every time you do it. Or like every time you do comes. it. Exactly. But that, no, that, that is how it works. I guess they just expect you to do it more than once in a Sonic game. A Sonic game usually just you breeze past things. Mm hmm. It's one of those things that's not working with the, uh, mechanics of the game. Exactly. Again, you know, they didn't have a whole lot of courses. They didn't have people who said, oh, this is how game design is supposed to work. So you yeah. gotta give them a little more credit than, than that. Yeah, admittedly, that is, that is the case. So, but, yeah, again, like, there could have been so much done with this level. Yeah, I'll agree with it you on It that. just, like, I see so much wasted potential. I'm trying to think what we could, what, what could make this level better. I mean, the easiest thing you could say is, uh, more difficulty. I don't know, maybe just another level after this. Like, yeah, like, I, like, honestly, it feels like a level is missing. Like, there's nothing about this level. This like, feels more like a setup for yeah. the final level. Yeah, it, it doesn't does. feel like the final level. It feels like a setup for, like, yeah. a, like, this is preparing you for well, the final level. Right. But in reality, it's just preparing you for the final boss. That's but, it. Yeah. I'm gonna hear you. I think that's... The problem with this is that the, there's no level after it. I think it's a solid zone. It is! It's like, just it's, not... It, there's just nothing about it that really makes you say, Wow! Or, you know, it's not like, uh... Oh, jeez, I gotta do that again. It, it's not like, uh... You're about to lose Supersonic. I know. I'm hoping there's a ring here. Or... Oi! Got it! Whoa, now, what, this... What, what was that? That was a bubble shield. It didn't look like a bubble shield. Is that really all it is? No, it is a bubble shield. So that means that when I lose Supersonic, I at least have the shield. Nope. Which I needed. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, like I said, like we said before, this level starves you with rings. Yeah. You're very likely. You, you need. Them. You need to be, like, you need to be very stingy with your rings and try not to like take any risks or anything like that. Uh, no, don't do anything stupid. Be, be meticulous. Whoop! Yeah, like that. Uh-huh. I love that Sonic Boom move. It's so useful. Yeah. You know, I never really thought about it, but yeah. Kind of makes Oh, sense. shoot! I'm drowning! Okay. That was weird. I jumped by yeah. accident. It was a panic jump. <laughs> and uh, I gotta go back a little bit because I gotta make that thing respawn. Ugh, I hate water. Ugh, stop it! Wee! <laughs> <laughs> Not to yeah. mention another thing. The final boss of this level, or like of this game, again, I know it's a setup for the next one, but it's kind of underwhelming, honestly. I don't remember it that well. I also made You'll, you'll see what I mean. Like, okay, think of it this way Sonic 1 had uh, Eggman in a machine, like, trying to smash you. Right? And that was, like, intense, because there were, like, a, there was electricity flying around, and, oh, jeez. Yeah, that was cool. That, I did not see that coming. That was really cool. See? There you go. Things like that. Like, yeah, but anyway. Like, Sonic 1 had the smashy, smashy, like, pillars that tried to kill you, right? Yep. And you had to, like, time it right. You had to be careful on where you were going to hit Eggman and things like that. Or Robotnik. Sorry. Can you get him? No. Nope. Oh, jeez. Wait, I got it. Flying, dude. Oh, jeez. Got some of your rings. It's a pattern. It's so easy. Uh, got yeah, it. There you go. You want to conserve your rings if you can. Yeah. Uh, gotcha. Let's go. Well. Oh, yeah, you can't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wow. Yeah, railroading. Okay. Okay, now, 
I got one ring to fight this final boss. What six lives? You got six lives. I do have six lives, and I think I have continues. I think so. I probably have continues. I, truth be told, guys, when we stopped at uh, Carnival Night Zone, in reality, we actually had to go to like we had to go do we had stuff. School. Yeah, we had to go to school. <laughs> And, like, it's been a while since we actually last picked up this game, so we're like, uh, oh, jeez, like, what did we do? At least we remembered, like, what we were talking about and what we, like, you know, the Chaos Emeralds and whatnot. Yeah. But, um, again, final bosses, right? Sonic 1 had the smashy, smashy pillars. Sonic yep. 2 had the giant egg robo. Yeah. Sonic, th Sonic and Knuckles had that gigantic, like, gargantuan thing. Gigantic gargantuan. Like, like that gargantuan <laughs> machine, like that was basically an upgrade of the egg robo. And he's gonna come back down. Yeah, for the final boss of him, or of this one, it's this and another machine, but both are kind of underwhelming, unfortunately. Well, with the one ring, rule them all. Yeah. <laughs> Again, this yeah, this is one of those bosses that doesn't give you any rings. Yep. Oh jeez, did I really just do that? I don't think any of the bosses give you rings. Oh, wow. Do you have to fought, fight that other boss again, or no? Oh, no, I start here. Right, they don't give me, like, a... Okay. No, well, wait, I... they do, they do. I just have to fight this thing again. <laughs> just dodge. <laughs> yeah, I meant to dodge that, but I didn't. Bye, Tails. Bye, Tails. <laughs> <laughs> I was useful! Uh, so we gotta go through this sequence. But no, like. Yeah, it's Son like, it's the one Sonic of those 3. Skippable cutscenes. Yeah. Doom. Sonic 3, final boss, just. Underwhelming, in my opinion. Because it's <laughs> not like. It's not like a spectacle. Mm -hmm. It's not like, uh. A, this grand thing that just intimidates you the minute you see it. This is just it's like. like it just, okay, where's the weak point? It just looks like another one of Eggman's machines. Yeah. I mean, there's there was the whole attack the weak point thing, like in Sonic 2, oh, with, yeah, the, with the underbelly, but yeah. that was done well. I'd agree to that. I will say this much though. This is probably my one of my favorite boss tracks in all of gaming. Not this one, but the next one that's coming up. Yeah. You know what I'm talking I about, know right? What you're talking about? Yeah, it's a good track. It really is. See, you can land a second hit. I could, but I don't want to risk it because I only have one ring, and you saw what happened last time. Yeah. Now if I had Super Sonic, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna give you that. Honestly, I think I'm I think I'm okay not having Super Sonic because it kind of like it kind of uh, raises the tension. Yeah. So I, I I am okay with that. Yeah, because kind of cheap. Oh, I think I know how to get a second hit. Yep. There we go. Did you get it three times? Yeah, I did. That last hit counted, right? Uh-huh. See, here's the final boss. Doesn't he have, like, spikes around him or something? He does. Yeah. It's a very specific weak point. Yeah, it's the front. Oh! No, oh, jeez. I'm screwed. Oh, yeah, no, I... There we go. This one's hard, actually. It I is. Remember. I mean, again, it is hard. Like, don't get me wrong. But it's just not, like, not... It's not like one of those spectacle kind of things. It just looks like another one can of his you, machines. Can you do spin dash in his face or no? I can, but it's hard. Yeah. I gotta time it right. And if I don't time my jumps right either, then you I'm die. gonna get grabbed and he's gonna kill me. There we go. But yes, I do love this music a lot. Yeah, it's a good track. <sighs> See, right there, when he bounces uh, up, yeah. that's where I could spin dash in. But not here. Not here. Oh, oh, he got me. Smack. I jumped at the worst time possible. Pile driver! Basically. <laughs> oh, crap. Wait, wait. I'm gonna come back. I'll be. Hey, Tails. Go ahead, fly up there. Fly up there. <laughs> that oh, is... this is classic. Just don't get hit. There you go. Thanks, Tails. Okay, goodbye. Bye, Tails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, again, like, I will say this much. The railroading here is necessary, because if you went the, to the final boss with Tails, then that what just happened can happen again. Yeah. Because Tails can't die. 
Did you see Knuckles turn green for a second? He, uh, yeah, I saw that. Is that your TV or is that the game? Um, I'm not too sure because while this is a port for the PS3, you do know that like sometimes like ports port, port. ports of old games can be a little bit dimicky. <laughs> they can be acted dimicky. <laughs> Just like our internet acts to Mickey sometimes. Yeah. Dude, I hate that whenever it happens in League of Legends. Yeah, it's the worst. Like you're you're playing a game and, and oh oh guess what team fight your internet <laughs> goes out. Yeah. Have fun. There we go. Two hits. The thing is with every with each consecutive hit he gets faster. Like not here but oh. There we go. Two rings. As long as you keep that two of them, you should be good. Yeah. Because then I got two directions. You got two what? I got two directions. Because the rings go in two directions, oh, so I got two... Okay. two Make it sure you said directions. Yeah, two directions to choose from. <laughs> Either I go go for the left ring or the right wing. Okay. Right ring. Good thing you've got two directions. Directions? Yeah. No, I thought you said something else. What did, what did you think I said? Think about it for a second. Directions. Oh! Dude! <laughs> that is not right! Oh, come on, that was good. I've got two erections. How the hell do you have two erections? <laughs> um, a lot of time between the two? <laughs> At the same time. No! 37! Let's, let's not turn this into that kind of discussion, please! <laughs> We're going, it's like 37 dicks in a row? <laughs> uh, How could you be online, dead monk? You're dead! Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Got it. Oh no, he's grabbing me. <laughs> See, here's it's another a good thing, Sonic. Uh, yeah, here's another thing that they took into account that I yeah, like. Right. Like, it's a small detail, right? But the spikes on his head yeah. are just long enough for me to not be able to get him above the head with my Sonic Bone. Yep. Like, oh, I, I can't use that move to get him from on the top of the head. Mm -hmm. He only has one weak spot, and that's his. And that's the right there. Gotcha. I we were talking about consoles earlier. Yeah. And I think. Ah. Oh. I was playing. Oh boy! Oh boy! I think I'm gonna end up getting a PS4 or a Wii U. Definitely not an Xbox because uh, always online DRM. Yeah. I have a huge ethical problem with that. Not to mention Microsoft is kind of. You, you pay for an internet, you pay for a service that Sony gives you for free. Yeah. Which is internet access. It's kind of... Kind of oh, jeez. I see what you mean. It's really difficult. Mm-hmm. Um... Ooh, gotcha! Ooh, nice. Um, but as long as the Wii U's library is good, I might be able to just get that. Yeah, I mean, this is one thing I'm glad about Nintendo right now. They're picking up their game. Like I saw some good, There's I saw some, I saw some releases that they're doing for the releases uh, fast. the 3DS. I saw some releases that they're planning for the Wii U, and it's gonna pick up a lot. The market's gonna pick up a lot for what they're they, putting out. They need to because, and that they need to appeal to the markets that Sony and uh, that Sony and Microsoft have. Unfortunately, now console wars are stupid, and I'll be the first one to say that. Yeah. But here, there's kind of this problem of. Uh, Sonic. Yeah. Now, see, if you had the link, unfortunately I can't do that here because it's a PS3. Yeah. If you had the link up from Sonic 3 to Sonic and Knuckles, normally you'd be that that like that dropping platform yeah. would drop you onto uh, onto Mushroom Hill. Cool. And then you continue the adventure from there, and with then the Super Sonic. Uh, with your Super Sonic, but then like you would see a secret compartment that Knuckles has. That shows you that that shows you his shrine where he keeps the master emerald. That's where you can get the super emeralds. Cool. Yeah, never did that. <laughs> yeah, it's no like they're merciless in that game. Absolutely merciless. We I remember renting Sonic and Knuckles from Blockbuster. Black and Blockbuster was still a thing. Yeah. Um, and I remember we got a copy of it and we couldn't get it to work. <laughs> and I was like, oh. Well, that's great. I thought it was our copy of the game, like our, our Sonic 3, but it wasn't. Yeah. In fact, it was, uh, it was our, it was the game itself. It was just, it didn't work. Yeah, that's a shame. Um, what else? Like, oh yeah, you were gonna say about the, uh, about the console wars? Yeah, well, console wars are stupid. 
but it's it's the the, the PlayStation 4 is at least gonna have free or you know free Sony free online support, unlike Microsoft does right now. Um, at least from what I understand. I yeah. wish it had backwards compatibility because yeah, that was one thing that disappointed me about the PS3. Luckily, I have a PS2 with me, but hey. yeah, I, I mean that's that's that would make the transition from for brick and mortar stores so much easier. Yeah, absolutely. And if they have the balls to say, oh well, you know all those games you had for the the, the PS3, you can get them on your PS4 by paying us again. Yeah. By an all by like a like, digital download system, then, at, I'll, then and I'll be like, look. That's bad business. Admittedly, Nintendo's kind of doing that the same thing with that with the virtual console. However, at it's least a, it's enough generations behind that it makes sense. In addition, they're pretty affordable once you think about it. Right. I mean, they're basically like ten bucks, like ten to right, ten, and eight to ten bucks each. Going in addition, going from N sixty four to to Wii makes sense. It like does. the virtual console on the Wii made sense because. N64 was the furthest it went back. You weren't buying last generation's games again. It's mm -hmm. enough that you might not have the hardware working. Yeah. There's a, there's a reason for that. It also keeps the genre alive. It keeps classics alive. All right then, and with that, Sonic 3 is complete. Thank you guys for joining us for Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 3. I am the Green Scorpion, and here with always... Nameless Nick. And we will see you guys next time. Yay.